My name is Eric Koo. I'm from Singapore and I'm a filmmaker. I used to love drawing comics and when I was about eight or nine years old I discovered my mother's Canon Super 8 camera and I picked it up and I started playing around with it and it seemed so exciting to tell stories, you know, beyond just comics. I was fortunate because um, in the early 1990s um, Singapore had this international film festival and they created a short film competition section so I won a, a special achievement prize which actually was like sponsorship in kind from Kodak post-production facilities and I went to the sponsors and I said look rather than I shoot another short film again why don't you back me to do a full-length feature film and the sponsors agreed to it so I made my first feature, Meepok Man, out of the sponsorship package. And then after directing my second feature, 12 Stories, I decided to do some producing and to produce the works of um, Singaporean filmmakers. And uh, I'm now in, into the, uh, the, the love of filmmaking for about more than 15 years. My first animation film, Tatsumi, based on the life and short stories of Yoshihiro Tatsumi. Um, a cartoonist that I've admired for over two decades and uh, he inspired me you know in the days also when I was still doing comics for the papers and the magazines and it's somewhat kind of ironic it's like gone full circle from him inspiring me for comics to uh, ultimately marrying his comics with the knowledge that I have for filmmaking and applying the two together. I like to use a lot of people, you know, in my films who've never acted before. And um, I made a movie called My Magic with uh, this man called Francis Bosco. In reality, he is a magician and he does quite, you know, bizarre magic, eating glass, blowing fire. I remember this guy, you know, who walked in and he started blowing fire. And I thought, is this fake fire? But as he passed me by, I could feel the heat and I was enamored. And, uh, He's never acted, but yet, you know, when he was in front of the camera, he just came alive and it was remarkable and incredible working with him. My eldest son, who's 17, wants to be a filmmaker and I said, yeah, I mean, go out there, use your camera, start directing and uh, you can make films these days just for very, very little money. It's, it's hard work as well, but also do you have a story to tell? And if you have a story to tell, how well are you going to tell it? And I think rather than um, spend a lot of money going to, let's say, film school or whatever, you could simply actually start experimenting, grab your camera and start making films. And you would know whether you're going to, you're going to get some interest by showing it to the festivals, by showing it to people. And uh, it is no excuse these days, I feel, to say, I want to be a filmmaker, but I don't know how to do it.